Hello, and welcome to Delta Green, Impossible Landscapes here on Roleplaying Public Radio. This is episode nine, uh, a, a slight deviation from the written campaign, as uh, we are going to be focusing on some different characters uh, in this uh, episode. In the last session, Jurgen was uh, dropped off at a hospital in New York City to be treated for uh, his wounds. Uh, and uh, so we go there. Uh, first off, uh, rewind a few hours uh, or an hour or so as uh, Maddie, please tell us what Nicole Withers uh, looks like and what they do for a living. All right. Uh, so Nicole Withers is a 28 year old uh, firefighter. Uh, I'm imagining her as one of those TikTok firefighters that does nothing but thirst traps, like abs up to here, just ripped for no reason. Like they, they have a side channel of wood cutting with an axe, like, um, you know, long blonde hair, the whole works. Like they are that model of firefighter. Sure. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you are uh, visiting a uh friend uh actually a colleague who is injured uh on the job and has a broken leg so you're visiting uh them at the hospital um so uh we can just say the friend's name is Thomas Werner and as you are walking making your way uh to the hospital uh you get a phone call yep the uh there's like hello um is this Nicole Withers uh, yes, it is. Uh, who's speaking? Um, uh, hi, uh, my name is Abigail. I'm with Federal Bureau of Investi Investigation. We are conducting a background check on an associate of yours, a Mr. West, uh, who works for, uh, I believe he's a colleague of yours. Right, out of character, he's an EMT, not a firefighter. Okay, sorry, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, like it, so, yeah. It's well, not... it's someone you know. It is All someone right. you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, cool. yeah. Sorry, uh, I, I misread that. Yeah, it is an emergency. Uh, an EMT, a paramedic, you know. Oh uh, uh, no, this is his son. You're talking about. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, what is what is uh, uh yeah uh, Max? Yeah. Okay. His son is Max. Yeah. Okay, Max <laughs> West. So. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. No background check. Sure. Um, what what do you need to know? Well, first off, do you consider him? Uh, a trustworthy person have you any reason to doubt his character or that he can be trusted with uh secrets and important uh confidential work i well i mean i mean it, there's not really many secrets you need in the the firefighter office but that sure i, I would trust him absolutely the okay uh that's good um and um do you know his relationship to uh his uh father uh, I mean, he doesn't really talk about it much. Uh, I, I I think he likes his dad more than his mom. He's, he's never mentioned his mom. I see. Um, do you know much about what happened to his father? Uh, not really, no. Is it is it important? Well, his father was under suspicion uh, some years ago uh, for uh, various crimes. Uh, no. not, nothing was ever proven, but there was an investigation. That's how it popped up in our system. Oh, uh, well, I mean, yeah, if nothing's proven, I mean, Max is a great guy. I'm sure his dad's the same. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do you think Max is the kind of person who would hold secrets? No, no, absolutely not. Like, he's just a chill guy, you know, he gets his work done fast, done quick. Like, he's, he's thorough. He's good at what he does. Yeah. Max has never expressed any interest in anything, say, uh, morbid or unusual. I, I mean, you got to have a bit of a black humor on this job with the, the stuff we see. I mean, hmm. what kind of things? You, you're asking what we see as firefighters. I oh. mean, a lot of death. Do you want I me see. to be specific? I can. Do you think, um, well, one of uh, 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 his father's, accu uh, he was accused of uh, stealing a corpse from a morgue. <laughs> Why would anyone do that? That's, th that's Well, it was never proven, but he was under suspicion for it. Someone, a body was stolen uh, when he was working. So, uh, but Max has never spoken about this or mentioned uh, anything about this. 
Would would you bring that up in conversation? I don't know. Uh, that's what we're trying to establish. Um, well, um, if you could think of anything else uh, about Max uh, uh, or his or his father, uh, please let us know. Um, here here's my number, uh, or you can call me back at this number. Yep. Uh, and uh, thank you for your time. So, uh, sure, no worries. Yeah. So uh, you get that call, and uh, then you start heading into the hospital. Um, so uh, a short time later, Jorgen. Uh, you awaken in a tunnel, uh, but things are weird and drifty is the only way you can describe it. Um, there is a cloaked figure in front of you. Uh, and somehow, you know, this place, this tunnel is pitch black, but you are still able to see. And the person, uh, the, the, you know, the figure in front of you, uh, you have called him Gary before, but you know, that's not his. It's their name. It, uh, it, uh, uh, you just hear a whisper. Hello, my friend. Yeah. We are not, this is a dream. You, but I am physically close to you. I can sense you are near death. You mean when I wake up, I'm going to feel worse? Yes. Okay. And you are in danger. You are cursed. I think. Cursed. Yes. What's but the I, danger? I'm not sure. I do not know much of this. But I, do, I, I know that you are in danger. But I can help you. I can heal you. But I cannot come to where you are. When you awaken, you will be in a hospital. <clears throat> you are high above the ground. You need to come to the basement. If you can get to the basement tonight, I can heal you. But that has its own price. But I think you know that. I do. So the choice is yours, but I do not wish to see you perish. Tell you what. I'll make it if I can. Good. If I can't, I'll die. And you can have me if you can find me. I am glad you said that. But... Uh, my time grows short, and you have much work to do if you are to come down here. You awaken in a, in a coughing fit. Uh, it hurts. It hurts a lot. You, uh, yeah, you, you can already feel fresh stitches on your body. Caleb, uh, please describe, uh, let's see here, uh, your character, uh, what their name is and wh uh, what they look like. Uh, I am Deanna Cobrini. Uh, I am about 160 pounds, Italian American, uh, middle aged. Uh, I get put on too many shifts because I can actually help lift people from bed to bed. Uh, <laughs> and they don't like to actually staff the wards. Um, uh, that, along with being a single mother of two daughters. Uh, she's sort of a battle axe. And uh, the the person who's running... Twice as many rooms and is legally uh, allowed on a hospital and still kind of juggling it. So mm -hmm. I am busy checking all of the various wires and tubes and uh, sacks of fluid going into Mr. Nygaard right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you you uh, you're going to wake up to see uh, Deanna here. Um, you can see you're not alone in this room with the nurse across. Uh, on the opposite end of the room, there's another bed uh, where there is a man with a broken leg um, and a woman in her late 20s uh, talking to him. Um, but yeah, uh, 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 Jurgen and, and Deanna, you both look at each other. Uh, is it day or night? Uh, it is night. It is definitely night. There is a window. You can see you're at least a couple stories up. Uh, you can't really tell sure. how. Yeah. Well, All right, so I instantly take out a flashlight and shine it right into his <laughs> eyes. Oh. Start looking for signs of concussions and, and things. Hello, Mr. Nygaard. Yeah, How are you doing say, today? I'm going to say good evening. Oh, 
Oh, it's all quite the same to me. How, how you do it? Can you follow my finger? Can I? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good to have you back with us. Oh, that remains to be seen. Mm. Gave us quite a scare there. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're in safe hands now, Mr. Nygaard. We're just going to make sure that uh, you're doing it. I'll tell the doctor that you're awake. He'll be thrilled to know. And uh, you you just stay put right there, okay? So he looks at all the shit attached to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I will. So at this point, the PA system crackles on. Code Silver. Due to an incident, we have activated our emergency plan. An external threat has been identified, and all exterior doors have been locked. Remain inside your room and lock the door. And you can hear a radio crackle in the distance and f- brisk footsteps coming your way. All of you in this room. <laughs> yeah, Nicole's going to, like, questionally look at the nurse. Is, like, is this normal? Is- uh, Code Silver, uh, Deanna, um, that is an active shooter. Uh, I I move the cart in front of the door <laughs> and uh, lock it and... Uh, turn the lights out yeah okay uh yeah yeah, Ergen relaxes a little bit he was about to try to do all those things (laughs) does anyone Uh, have a gun so um i'm I'm sure it's fine mr nygaard it's uh probably some drug-seeking behavior down in in the emergency room it'll be resolved soon enough the uh, uh you you close the door and barricade it with the cart um and as you do that, uh, shortly after you do that, you hear a knock on the door um, and you hear a voice. Hey, um, and you recognize the voice, Deanna. It's uh, Mark. He's one of the security guards. Uh, he says, um, hey, um, I just got orders. We need to move uh, uh, one of the patients in here uh, to a different location. Uh, can you open the door? Uh, uh, Deanna, is that you? Yeah, you know, there's a little window in the door. Um, Oh, all right, uh, Mark. Why? Why we're mo- we're on a silver? We we can't be out in the halls. Uh, special. Uh, I, he tries to whisper, but uh, Nicole, you can if you make an alertness check, you can eavesdrop on this conversation. I uh, will, because and same same with you, Jorgen. Yeah. Do I get uh, a human roll? Yeah, I do make. Okay. Yeah. Me uh, too. <laughs> um. <laughs> The, I just got word that the the shooter is looking called out, asked for Jorgen uh, specifically. Uh, someone is gunning for this guy, and we need to uh, hide him. So you know, yeah, uh, that that's the call. So we need to move him to another level or something. Uh, we need to get him out of here. He, he seemed to be, he yeah, he's not safe in this room. If if this all right, I start moving things. Yeah, I yeah. failed my role, so like okay, yeah. yeah. If this yeah. shooter is coming to this room, can we move as well? Like I don't want to be here if this is where they're coming to. Uh, yeah, Tom. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Tom looks uh, uh pretty like what the fuck. Uh, he looks pretty scared at that point. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I start getting like Tom out of bed. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple wheelchairs. You could put the wounded yep. people in wheelchairs. I start getting shit out of my arms and detached from me and all that shit i i hey calm down well we'll, yeah can i push him out on the bed like so Uh, he doesn't have to fully unplug or oh yeah yeah you you can you can um yeah you can uh, like uh uh the little iv thing can be on a little uh, yeah is there like a gurney or something yeah yeah. oh yeah you could put him on a gurney yeah yeah so this takes you a couple minutes are you letting the guard in to help um uh i suppose so i doubt they're gonna wait around to leave for yeah. me to get him ready yeah yeah uh so yeah it takes you a few minutes uh to get him all um mark looks at you uh uh deanna's like where w- you know um look they didn't tell me where to take him to uh you need to yeah. take me somewhere without other patients get me to the basement or something where there's no other people who can get hurt Mark's like, oh, that, that, yeah, that's, not, yeah, they wouldn't look for there, probably. And if they look for me down there, they only find me. Look, I'm not exactly, 
a hard charger myself, but perfectly, and I found myself in a gunfight. I don't want to be caught in a basement. Uh, yeah, by the way, you're on the sixth floor, so, yeah. Basement got any corners. I, I, I get, uh... Can I think of a place that's like nearby that would be relatively easy to secure that we don't have to go? Yeah, um, I mean, there's several you can just think of. Uh, there, there is a couple unused rooms, uh, rooms that aren't being used right now. There's storage rooms. There's uh, yeah, some place where they wouldn't have patients would probably be a uh, physical therapy room, room on the fourth floor. Um, yeah, yeah, like we'll we'll head there. It's unbooked. You're you're not on the roster for there. They mm. they won't be looking for you. Okay. It seems like a plan. Tom, uh, so everyone gets ready to go. You hear shouting down the hallway. Uh, you hear like, hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of here. We're, you know, like um, the, the guards like you all go. I'll, I'll, I'll go check it out. There's, you know, there's a couple of uh, psych patients here. Uh, they're a little unstable. I got to go calm them down. Probably. Where, where are the cops? We've had silver for come. Where are they at? I don't know. Uh, the, the radio, like, he's he uh, starts playing with the radio. You just start hearing the, this. It's just crackling. There's just static. Um, and, uh, yeah, the uh, all of you start heading. Uh, are you going to go for the stairwell or the elevator? Uh, uh, well, he's on a gurney, so the elevator. Okay. Uh, but I probably an employee one, like not. Yeah. Okay. Not not a main one, one you would <laughs> use to move between floors if you were a nurse. Yeah. Deanna, so, did I see the name tag right? Uh yes, Mr. Nygaard. Uh not not right now, Mr. Nygaard. I'm I'm trying to They're not gonna be all. sweeping room to room in the basement. They are going to be sweeping room to room on the patient floors. Um, Mr. Nygaard, are you very familiar with the basement of our hospital? No, and neither are they. Well, I am. That's the morgue. It's got metal walls and refrigeration units everywhere. If we go in there, we're in a metal box where they can shoot us without windows or anywhere to escape. Uh, we're going to the fourth of, floor. Thank you, Mr. Nygaard. Don't make me up your drip. I will up put your fucking drip. I swear to God. <laughs> so I am like like yeah. head motioning along yeah uh, you're, Maddie you're pushing her her yeah uh her so friend, all you know. of you uh uh so it's it's you three plus the uh thomas uh heading down to the employee elevator um mark the security guard goes the other direction uh and just as you're about to round the corner um you oh hey drop it uh and mark yelling drop it and then there's just the uh the sound of a shotgun and uh yeah uh all of you give me a uh, sand checks um yep yeah oh, what I'm is very reason? adapted oh uh, okay AF over oh here. yeah that's true you are adapted to violence you are uh 12 under 65 i okay. i've heard yeah. shotguns sure yeah, well, now you... Yeah, 2,450, yeah. 50. Yeah, yeah no, well, now you've all seen a person get hit in the chest with a, a, a shotgun. Uh, Jorgen, you think it's a slug. Uh, so, yeah, the, the center of his chest uh, uh, just is gone. Um, and you see uh, uh, f- uh, there is a, a man in a gas mask uh, carrying a pump-action shotgun, um, and probably all of you should give me athletics checks. Or at least the people, except for Jurgen, obviously. Uh, the two, yeah, you, you, the two healthy PCs. <laughs> I don't make by six. Okay, thirty-nine out of fifty. Bad right. at wheeling a wheelchair, apparently. Yeah, Thomas. Um, yeah, gets stuck on something. Um, uh, so you're lagging behind. And uh, yeah, I'm just hauling ass with you getting around a corner that I guess yeah. I'm yeah. getting away from the person with the shotgun. Yeah. It's like shit, yeah. fuck, 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 fuck. Sorry, sorry, just come on, Tom, help me. <laughs> uh Tom is like, don't worry, I'll I'll no, you go. I'll 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 uh, I'll uh, lead him away. Hey, fuck asshole, this way he like grabs something from a uh uh and grabs a plastic water bottle on a nearby shelf and throws it at the uh, down the hall and tries to wheelchair himself into a room. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, are you going to... Uh, uh, you can give me one last check. 
No, or, I'm gonna attempt to grab him and drag him away. He, if I leave it, he dies. Like yeah. water bottle throwing aside. Yeah, um, Thomas is yeah. Uh, uh <laughs> That's a lot line. Okay. Uh give me another sand check. Yep. Yep. Alright, that's that's a good thing, right? That's yeah. uh I don't make that sound at each other. All right. That is a uh, shotgun, like uh, for three, uh, a shotgun blast, you know, the shotgun shell misses. It hits uh, the, the, the wall above your head. Um, it is incredibly loud. Uh, he's just this, this figure is just walking. Uh, uh, Thomas shoves himself towards the figure uh, to buy you time. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Uh, there is no way to, uh, uh, the only way you could survive now is to run. Like, uh, otherwise, you're just going to be in an empty hallway with a guy with a shotgun. Uh, yeah, at this point, I, I think the instincts to just get the fuck out of there. Sure. Mm-hmm. All right, give me uh, uh, you, 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 give me another athletic check. This time with the plus twenty bonus. I'm so good at these. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh no. Uh, I make. All right. So yeah, you 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 run. Uh, you hear another shotgun blast. Uh, you do not hear a scream though, uh, but you don't look, uh, and you make it to the elevator just in time as the doors close, um, and it All goes right, down to I, the fourth floor. Uh, I'm gonna just like as soon as they get in, just like sink against one of the walls, like breathing hard, like oh fuck, 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 fuck. Just I I believe I've killed my friend. Yeah. Uh, no human check to, to for uh, either of you to recognize that. But as uh, you are going down, you get a you get a uh, your phone rings. Uh, uh, let's uh, Nicole. I I will like you know, just press the answer button as I kind of just like put it to my ear. He, yes. Do you know why they are hunt? Why he uh, uh, Jorgen is being hunted? <laughs> Who is this? It, it's the same woman from earlier. What? How do you ask him about Ryan West? Why would he know about? Hey, do, do you know about this Ryan West guy? Give me the phone. I I just hand it over. Who the okay. fuck is this? Um, there is a music playing. Uh, <laughs> it is the music you heard at the Dorchester house. Uh, I'm ripping the SIM card out and breaking it. Okay. What do you do? We, we could call the police. They're, they're actively hunt. Uh, are we on the fourth floor? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's the Listen to me for a second. There are people after me that the police will not pose a significant difficulty to. Do you want more people to die or less? I have a way out of here. I need to go to the basement. There's no more time for... Pussyfooting around with C. I'm already pushing, pushing out of skill face. I yeah. can get out of here and be out of your hair. They're not going to stop. This is above any of your pay grade. You sound like the kind of man who tore all his massive stitched wounds open and almost died. Uh, yeah. I don't think you're thinking straight right now, Mr. Nygaard. No, I tore them open because I was thinking straight, but I don't have time to explain that to you. Uh, well, you just go ahead and go on an Olympic sprint on your own uh, once you can get out of this bed. Uh, until then, I'm pushing you and we're we're hiding. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking for that physical therapy. Right? Yeah, that's easy to find um, as you get there. Um, Do you have children, you... Deanna? Yes, two. Do you want them to keep having a mother? I'm trying what to be on drugs. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm getting Nicole in there. I'm making sure we're not seen, and I'm I'm closing mm-hmm. it. Up. Yeah, yeah. Um, as you do that, the uh, PA system kicks. Do you on. think this is? Do you think this is normal? Do you think that they knew to call about me and about your coworker's dad, and that this is just because I hurt myself and I want some drugs or something? Fucking think for a second. I'm I'm trying to listen to the PA. Yeah. Um <laughs> Jurgen Nygaard, uh you're wanted in the therapy room. Uh please uh, for ther- for group therapy, please report to the cotton candy room. Uh Dr. Uh, friend uh is waiting to see you. I'm just staring at Diana, unblinking. 
I guess I should roll Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't make that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is uh three. Yeah. Do you want to be good. stubborn and get yourself killed, or do you want to fucking start listening to me? What do you think is in the basement? A friend can get to me there, not anywhere above the basement. There's there's only one way in and one out. I How can they get to you? I promise you that's not true. You don't know what's under this hospital. Is, is your friend Ryan? Because I've heard some weird things about that dude in Morgs. Ryan's an old friend. He's not the one who's going to get me out, but... Ryan's Look, trustworthy. I know that was freaky timing. There's a therapy room on every floor of this hospital that does not say anything, and there's no such thing as a cotton candy room. They're fishing. I'm going to go out and make sure everything's safe. I'm going to try and find some help. All right? Uh, they're not phone? still firing. They're not just killing things indiscriminately, or we Ms. would hear Cabrini, more. Cabrini, do you have a phone? Y- yes, yes. Call your daughters first and tell them that you love them before you do something that I am telling you not to do. Oh. I, I'm, I'm going to call the police. All right. We need to stay calm here. Uh, it's just so. more bodies. I am calm. I'm telling I, I, you how we can live. <laughs> and you're ignoring me because you're being stubborn. Uh, is Does Nicole have like an FDNY jacket uh, on or, or something like to identify themselves as? Uh, anything but a civilian? Sure, or... yeah. I, I came up just after my shift, yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. yo. I am desperately looking to you, and, like, <laughs> you gotta keep him in bed. He is not doing well, like, yeah, mentally. S- sir, the, this, there's a the shooter, and I, I think he just killed my friend. We we should just stay here? I, I, I think so, yes. Yes, I'm gonna go get help. I, I'm just going to look outside, uh, and I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, mm-hmm. But you got to keep him in bed, okay? Sure. He's going to hurt himself, all right? Uh, so I'm, I'm stepping outside to see okay. what I see and try and call the police. Any, okay. Anyone for help? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so first off, give me an alertness check. Uh-oh. I didn't want to make a check that soon. <laughs> well, I mean, you said you're looking around. Uh, I, just... I got a 10 out of 40. Yeah. Um, you can hear someone sort of like um, one thing it, it's, it's odd. the lights in the hospitals have already dimmed like they're the, like uh, they're on emergency lighting like um, like something the, the hospital itself also sounds more quiet like there's not even you know with the active shooter warning going out you, you think there would be more noise and activity and stuff but like every it is yeah uh, uh, eerily quiet the most the, the and still uh, but you do hear a woman uh, kind of moaning and like uh, uh, you know like straining um, just around the corner and uh, when you uh, call 911 it is busy uh, I call the uh, like front desk of the hospital security of the hospital like okay um uh, i'm also trying to peek around that corner yeah uh you peek around the corner and you can see a um a gurney has fallen on a woman uh and she's not and she's trying to get herself out she's a patient uh you know middle-aged woman you know she's just like Ugh, uh, you know uh she seems to be physically intact but it, she seems kind of woozy or weak or something um, but, uh, we'll get to, uh, uh, while you're, you're looking at that, waiting to call the thing. Um, yeah, you're going, uh, Nicole, are you going to be doing anything in the physical therapy room? There is a TV, uh, up on the, you know, uh, yeah, I, I will turn the TV on trying to like find local news, see if this is like a raid or if the police know about it. Is it on the news? Is this like big? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, the TV story uh, playing a new story. Um, local apartment building burns down again. Hi, I'm reporter Asadara Bondi, uh, and I'm here in front of the McAllister building. Uh, Fuck off. Which is, <laughs> <laughs> burned down again uh, 20 years ago in 1995. Turn that shit off. Turn it off. Please. Uh, but we are, it is now 20 years later. I this mean, is the home of security guard Mark we, we, Robbins in the we uh, might need it, uh, recently deceased at the you hospital. You don't understand. This isn't the news. And, <laughs> oh, but, okay. uh, Nicole, but local firefighters uh, are reporting that if they 
turn Jurgen over, they uh, can get out of this without a problem. Nicole's uh, just gonna stare like, what? what? Uh, so yeah, give me a, a sand check. What? Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, no, that's that's a uh, yeah. I I was at the uh, the fire earlier. It, that's mm-hmm. that they they probably just got my name from my badge at the scene or something. Uh, the, the, yeah, I'm gonna dismiss that out of hand and turn the TV off. Like uh, that's. Mm-hmm. Please okay. look at me and listen for just a second. What's I'll... your name? Nicole. Nicole. What more is it going to take for you to start listening to me? Listen, and start doing what you need to do to not get killed tonight. I think hiding is the best solution. Like Your friend's dad and I did some consulting work for the FBI 20 years ago. And the case got opened up again this year. That's why I'm hurt. These people who are after me are not going to stop. Do you understand me? The cops can't handle this. I have a way out of here, and they will keep tracking me. (sighs) Everyone in this hospital, including you, is at risk as long as I'm here. Uh, Okay, so... What, you want me to sneak you out? You're on a fucking bed. That's going to be difficult, man. I just need to get to the basement. (sighs) Listen, what's the worst that happens? You leave me there, they kill me, they leave. What do you fucking care? Fine, you know, if there are signs of trouble, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to feel signs bad of tr- about Your friend is dead because you haven't been listening. Fuck you. Trouble's a long way in the rearview mirror. <laughs> I'm going to put the brakes off the, the bed and just start wheeling. I, I now no longer care if this man gets shot. It's Okay. It, it's... Uh, if I get weeded out, if I hear something bad, I, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, so meanwhile, while this conversation is happening, um, Deanna, um, you get through with the uh, security station. Uh, you recognize the voice. Uh, it's Chief Rourke uh, or, you know, the supervisor, um, whatever his title is. Uh, he, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, uh, what's going on, Deanna? Uh I, I I followed the security directive. I, I've I've moved the patient. Uh, we're we're in a safe place. Is is police on the way? Uh, yeah, um, police are on their way. Um, yeah, it's just um, I don't know. There, I think there's more than one. Um, it, there, it, he's wearing a gas mask, so I don't know. Uh, I thought it was just one guy, uh, but I I swear he got shot by one of the cops on duty down here. But he's I, I there's still sh- someone shooting, so there must be more than one. Oh, oh uh, my God! Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, we'll. Uh, uh, what what floor are you on? We can send some backup. Uh, oh yes, uh, we're on the sixth floor. Oh well, actually, remember you moved to the fourth floor for the. Yeah, I say floor. we're on the sixth floor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll send. Uh, we'll send uh, uh, some people up there right now. Uh, yeah. So, are you going to help the woman with the gurney on her? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go over and help her. Yeah. All right. You, you you know, lift up the gurney. It's easy for you. Um, and she says, oh, thank you. Um, I'm I'm just uh, I heard the thing and I panic. I ran and I, I knocked this over. Uh, I got a little dizzy. I can't uh, can just help, hide me somewhere. Uh, yeah, I, I look for like a uh, like a like a supply closet or something to. OK. Put her in. Can I, yeah. Oh, no, please. I'm a claustrophobic. Can I just stay with you? Where are you hiding? Uh. Okay, come on, man. We we're just gonna get out of the hallway. We got to get okay. out of the hallway now. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you so? Are you taking her with you, or are you gonna just shove her into a supply closet? I'm I'm gonna take her with me until I get her to a supply closet. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's one on the way back to the physical therapy room. Yes, uh, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay. No, no. What are you doing? Ah, she. You you close the door. Uh, as soon as the door is closed, she you can't hear anything. So, um, yeah. Uh, then you get back to the physical therapy room. I assume, unless you want to do something else. Uh, can I, like, arm myself? Is there, like, a, I don't know, like a syringe full of drugs? or? or oh, sure. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, um, break yeah. a mop. Yeah, scalpel. Yeah, I don't know. What, yeah. Something um, along the way would be. Syringe, ne- syringe full of, like, stuff that would be bad if you injected them with. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like we'll, we'll dis- air? Yeah. 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 Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll get that then. 
Yeah, uh, the fire alarm goes off, too. Uh, it is very loud, and uh, I don't know if the fire alarm would trigger the uh, fire suppression system or if it would just trigger the alarm. Uh, I don't suppose any of you know that off the top of your head. Uh, yeah, someone someone triggered, someone pulled the fire alarm. Uh, uh, the suppression system wouldn't go off unless there was a detection of smoke. So. Okay, so yeah, it's just a very loud noise. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and blinking lights, obviously. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but as you come back to the physical therapy room, the uh, you see Nicole starting to push uh, Jurgen out of the room. What are you doing? I, I'm done. I am going to get this guy to the basement where he thinks he'll be safe. And there's a big FBI conspiracy. I am. I'm just. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm putting this guy in the elevator. We're going down. We're I'm going to just walk the fuck out. Look, if the the alarm's going off, they're, they're going to come here first. We're, we're going to be safe here. Like we, we I, I've got I had security going up to where the guys were on the sixth floor. We're, we're covered like we just got to um, wait for help. I, I just got in touch with security. Would you prefer that I die or that a whole lot of other people die? So he keeps saying creepy shit like this. Uh, I, I'm a nurse, sir. I don't want anyone to die. It's a little bit past that, don't you think? I'm gonna in, in the basement. Stop I wheeling from there. Start they're wheeling or stop. Wheeling. They're not gonna stop. Stop. All right, all right. At least let me. Okay, we'll go to the basement. At least let me make sure the halls are clear. Okay. Okay. As uh, you like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, as you're doing that, all of you um, give me alertness checks. Pass. Okay. Uh, fail. Okay. Uh, those of you who pass, you can hear distant gunfire, a shotgun going off somewhere. Not close, but, you know, close enough that you can hear it. And can, other I, guns. can I tell a rough like direction above you above or below? It's above you for sure. Okay. I'll point that out. Yeah. Um, all right. So, um, Nicole, you start to then the Deanna goes out uh, of the hallway, closes the door. What, uh, uh, you don't hear from Deanna for a bit. What I'm going to grab like uh, the nearest like physical therapy cane. I assume mm -hmm. there's some kind of walking device thing nearby mm -hmm. and I'll, like put it on the bed. So there is at least a, a vague weapon. I know in the long run, a shotgun is a shotgun, but mm -hmm. I feel better having some kind of... Yeah, yeah it's a club. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. That, those those canes are pretty heavy duty. Hold yeah. on a second. When I got brought in, did I have any guns or did Ryan take them off me? Ryan hospital would have. Yeah, Ryan he, probably took them back so that the I think we just left you your me. mobile phone. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your phone is definitely there, which can be traced to you. Um, but yeah. I've been, yeah. He's less likely to get free surgery if uh, yeah. he, he had a gun. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, so, yeah, you you have that. Um, so you have the cane as a club. Um, but, yeah, the, the nurse is not coming back uh, uh, immediately. Yep, so. but try to open the door. I like, mm -hmm. start wheeling, like dragging into the corridor. Uh, the the door is barred from the outside. I <sighs> just deep sigh and like rest my head against like the glass bit of the door and just she locked it where the door is locked. I'm going to like, right. you're uh, I'm going I'm to source, I'm going to source lock picking materials from the room real quick. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's is that see a search here. or criminology or what, what would you like? Uh, criminology. I make. Okay. Uh, yeah, you find, uh, there's some, um, Fucking state, uh, not staples, uh, paper clips and shit like that. And yeah. All right. And what is the, uh, is that also the skill for breaking locks? I forget. I think, well, didn't you have craft locksmith? Yes. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I also make that. Okay. Uh, so you start working at the door, um, and that takes you a bit. Um, and Nicole's going to be like, that's. So that's be, be vaguely impressed. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. This this guy is shifty, but he knows shit. All right, okay. I see. Yeah, if I see that look while I'm working, without making eye contact while I keep working, I'll say, 
You know I haven't told you a single lie. Nor Deanna. I've told nothing but the truth since I woke up. So the um, door is uh, mangled. Um, like it is physically, like you realize the lock is physically destroyed or bent. So, so when I say they broke the lock, like they fouled the lock rather than she fouled the lock, like that has a particular weight to it. Um, so Mm. yeah, there, there is, uh, yeah, you, uh, now you realize you can, uh, eventually dismantle the door. Um, I will... Uh, I don't know if the hinges would be on your side or not. It's a physical therapy room, not meant to like restrain people. Well, this lady who's with me is fucking jacked. Like she yeah. probably can just bust the door. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can give me a strength times five check. Uh, I can take yeah. this apart, but you can break it down faster. You look to be in good shape. I, uh, I'm used to yeah, kicking dolls down. I guess part of the job, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is a critical fail. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> Wow, oh, you take uh three damage. Uh you bust your shoulder up pretty badly. Um uh, All right. Yeah. These are way more reinforced than a burning building. I, uh, oh god. Jurgen just kind of face palms and keeps working <laughs> on the door. Okay. Uh yeah. Uh Fuck. yeah. Uh you do I'm going to get, right. like, an ice pack from the freezer. We're in a physical therapy. This is a good place to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you do realize, of course, Jürgen, there is a window uh, leading to the outside, and there is a ledge that could get to the next room if Nicole was willing to take a risk. I'll point that out. Yeah. I, I, I'm not scared of heights. If it's, like, a, a ledge that, you know, is vaguely human yeah. size, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not like... You know, I'm a parkour expert with my fingertips holding it's, it's something. Old, it's an older style of New York architecture, so yeah. And it's, hell. It's got ledges, yeah. If four I stories fall, up. that's a lot less bad than what they're going to do to me when they find me. Well, you definitely cannot make that, Jurgen, but Nicole could get to the other room and then open the door from the outside. Oh, it's not... So the lock isn't fouled in a way that makes it completely impossible. Like, from the outside, it would be It would easier. be easier to force it open from the outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just I, gonna, yeah, I'll, as, I'll, as, I'll, as a sake of expedience, yeah. I will I will um, send her around then. I'll say, like, look, the yeah. other side of the door is going to be easier than this. So instead of fucking up your other shoulder, maybe you should just mm-hmm. uh, go around. Um, meanwhile, uh, Deanna, as you, you take... Uh, the, the elevators are out of order, uh, you notice. Um, as you go down the stairwell, uh, you see a bunch of patients hurtled in, uh, the stairwell and they are talking amongst themselves and they're holding pieces of paper and they're, they're, it, uh, yeah, uh, they're, they're like reading from the paper. Um, they are, uh, yeah. What do you do? You can't really quite make it out at this distance. What are you going to do? Can I get past them while completely ignoring them? Uh, I mean, you'll be walk pushing your way through them to do that, um, and you'll you'll undoubtedly hear what they have to say. Um, uh, I will do that then, but I okay. I am not taking pains to read what they're reading, mm-hmm. to to see what they're saying. Uh, very very much want to be moving on with my day down <laughs> these stairs. Yeah, they are rehearsing a play. Uh, that much is clear. Uh. From your first mewling to last extremity, a king watches, eyes empty like a newly polished sepulcher, expression indifferent as time. Uh, And yeah, it's it's like they're practicing to put on a play. Um, So yeah, go ahead and give me that sand check. Oh God, theater kids. Oh, 96. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, this is one sand for a natural as this is uh, quite... Pretty yeah. Lynchian for a mass shooting. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... I love you... trying to practice my plays when fire alarms and shootings are happening. It's... hmm Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they, they ignore you. you. You push by them uh, as you head down. The... Nicole, give me an athletics check, plus 20. All right. Uh, like, firstly, I would like to grab some, like, rope from the room and do something, like, around my waist, just in case I fall, because oh, while yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. brave, I'm not an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can, physical therapy room. Uh, I make that anyway. Okay. So you get over to the next room, uh, open the window, get in, um, and then you can force the door open eventually. 
As you do that, you can see um, there is a uh, woman in the hallway uh, with who, a gurney has fallen on her, uh, and she looks kind of dizzy. All right. Uh, are you okay? Like, uh, just, Can you help me up? Uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, I would, like, lift the gurney. Um, yeah. but, all right. Hey, I need a... Listen, yeah, you should I'll find help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. She gets after you help her up. She she gets up and Ed goes to the door. Um, and and he's like, yeah, yeah, we'll get you. You, you want to help someone in here, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's what we're doing. All right. Um, yeah, the cl- the the lock has been bent. Uh, in uh a way that is how how could you didn't hear uh Deanna do this? You don't know how this could have happened. Yep, it's. Sure, locks locks are fucked. The, yeah. the day is pretty fucked. Let's just. But with just... this uh, this other woman, he says her name is Michelle. Uh, she uh, uh, you op- managed to force open the door. Uh, yeah, and you can continue on your way. Uh, Great. Uh, uh, thanks. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's let's go. Yeah. So while Nicole was going across and going in the other room, mm-hmm. uh, Jurgen was looking to see if there were any syringes in <laughs> this room. Uh, syringes and physical therapy room. That would be a luck check. Let me roll sure. for that. Uh, no, they're not. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, some anything sharp. Uh, yeah, there's could... a sharp pencil. Okay, because the 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 big swinging motion of a club is going to be way worse mm-hmm. than a little stab. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can make a melee one melee check with a pencil. Uh, if you're at close yeah. range, you and get it. In the so neck. I, uh, I am going to hide, sort of next to the door, mm-hmm. while I wait for Nicole to show up. Because if someone else shows up, that's not okay. Uh. So yeah, you open the door. You can see uh, Nicole's there with another patient. Or with a patient named, uh, well, you know, middle aged woman. Um, All right, I, uh, I palm. I've got the pencil palmed. Mm-hmm. We gotta go, Nicole. Uh, yeah. Um. Do you, do you, uh, can we grab like the? Is like do on a bed? I'm sure there's like the. There's wheelchairs, um, wheelchairs. too. That's yeah, yeah. probably easier. Wheelchairs. The... Fine. Get. Okay. It, so is this lady standing up? Is she? Is she yeah, invalid? Yeah. Is she? No, oh, she's up. Man. Yeah. Uh, but she 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 leans over uh, the gurney to help you under the wheelchair. Listen, lady, you need to stay the fuck away from me if you want to stay alive. Why? I don't have time to explain. The people who are shooting up this hospital are after me. Well, I, I don't understand. I, I, I just want to get away. You don't away need from to understand. Do you want to live or not? Listen, right. my friend's really abrasive. You're going to be safe in this room. We'll 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 close the door. It it, it looks like it's locked, so you'll I, be fine. I I, I don't want to go. I don't. I, I'm I'm claustrophobic. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in a in a room. Hu- hey, I've got a question for you. Yeah, have you seen the yellow sign? Is there any reaction? She smiles. I stab her. <laughs> yeah, give me melee. Jesus Eleven. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Just right in the right in the carotid artery. Right. In the, just first. Yeah. Give me a sand check there, Nicole. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Alt six. I'm apparently okay with this. Uh, yeah. It's. Yeah. She does not scream. She just falls to the ground. Uh. Oh. At a pool of blood. Uh. uh okay. That's one sand for murder. Yeah. You you just killed someone, so. Uh, you're gonna need to do some explaining. He's with the shooters. Both of you look at, you, at each other for a moment, and when you look back, there's a mannequin on the ground with a pencil on its neck. Give me another sand check for both of you. Yeah. Oh, I'm not surprised. I'm still Critical okay. success. 55. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you make your uh, two, Nicole? Yeah. All right, that is one, uh, because, yeah. All right. Time to peel the curtain a little further back. The work I did with the FBI was about shit like this. Shit that's not natural. That's what's been going on here tonight. You mind getting that pencil out of her? I might need it again. And she's just going to wordlessly, like, grab the pencil and hand it over and just, like, look back to the mannequin, like, okay, so the basement. The 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 pencil is covered in blood. No. That's yeah. fine. 
It's Mm -hmm. fine. I've seen worse. This is a mannequin. Mm -hmm. It was always a mannequin. It's Mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Yeah. Uh, So all of you, uh, or the two of you, uh, head on your way to uh, the basement. Um, The elevator is not working. Um, So you have to take the stairs. Uh, So... Uh, I'm a firefighter. I, I have wheeled people downstairs so oh, yeah, many yeah. times. It's yeah, fine. you don't have to roll. It's fine. Um, yeah, or she can carry me and I can carry the wheelchair. Like, it's it's one of those lightweight ones from the hospital, right? Mm-hmm. Like, leatherback. Yeah. Yeah, no big deal. So, the... Do, 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 as you go, the PA... Uh, no, sorry. Um, you see a... Uh, uh, as you're wheeling them down, uh, Nicole, you have a jacket on, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you're as you're doing that, um, you suddenly hear that you feel the crumple of paper in your right pocket uh, and you tap your right pocket and there's like a letter in it or right? mm. a folded letter. I will. Yeah. Take it out. Look at it. I, I'm confused. Uh, do I see this happening? You can give me uh, an alertness check because you're kind of distracted and uh, Nicole's behind you. Yeah, uh, she's taking out a piece of paper and looking at it. It appears to be a letter from in the fire chief. Uh, in the there's a the header of the letter is from the, your fire chief, your boss. Oh, Nicole, Cole. Yeah. did you have that paper before? Uh, no, I don't. Don't think look so. at it. I, I'm just gonna like it can get inside quiet. your mind. You know, sure, I I can. Like, if thinking to themselves, like, I can just read this later. Let's, let's, that letters aren't important. Like, I, it's like an email, it's past five. We can, yeah, you know, uh, put it back in the pocket. Mm-hmm. So, meanwhile, Deanna, uh, as you were, you were heading down, uh, you, you were getting to the ground floor. You get to the ground floor, uh, and it is utterly deserted here. Um, you, you can hear, uh, some sounds, uh, uh, some, cr- someone crying coming from the security station and uh but yeah the way the 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 elevate the uh stairwell uh you'll have to take a different stairwell to get to the basement the this bit the stairwell you're in does not go all the way down uh yeah it's like a public stairwell yeah yeah uh yeah as you as you start crossing over um you yeah uh uh realize that the going on in the security station uh you see this chief supervisor rourke um he's he's crying um there's a couple of bodies, uh, people who have been shot clearly with a shotgun, uh, like, you know, just, you know, a slug a shotgun has been just used to murder several people here. And he, uh, and Rourke is alive, covered in blood and just like, obviously in a state of shock. He, kind of, he hears you coming and he's just, oh, dude, oh God, um, you're still alive. It's, uh, R- Rourke, what happened? There's the killer. Killers, um, we shot them, uh, and the cops shot them, and then they came back, and they shot them again. Um, they, 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 uh, it, it's, it's so bad. I don't know what's going on. Do you? Oh my god, uh, have you been able to get a hold of anybody from the outside? Um, yeah, they, they I, I asked them to send more cops, uh, and they said they would send more cops, but, um, I, I do you hear the city outside? I don't hear the city anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Are the security cameras still working? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to look at them. I'm just, um, yeah. You, you, the security cameras are there. Okay. Uh, uh I get a 39 out of 40 to ram the syringe into his neck and okay. fully depress the air into it. Yeah. Um, he is not expecting it, uh, and just slumps over, uh, he quite dead. Uh, uh, I go to the security cameras. Okay. Are you looking for them? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, you do see a figure in a gas mask with a shotgun walking around. Um, uh, I'm also looking for Nygaard and, uh, Withers. Yeah, you find them. They are going down the stairs, uh, the stairwell you just took. They're, they're heading your way. Uh, Uh, I turn on the PA. Attention, all shooters. The target you are looking for, Mr. Nygaard, is located in the east stairwell, quickly approaching the first floor. That is the east farewell. He's accompanied by one adult female. Thank you. 
I turn off the PA and yank it off the wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you hear that as you're getting to the second floor. Um, so I head uh, toward the other stairwell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you can hear a uh, someone coming up the stairs very rapidly uh, in heavy boots. Uh, oh God. Uh, you can hide somewhere in the second floor and take another stairwell down. Um, yeah, there was a reason I didn't like her. Yeah, like we got to get out of the stairwell. These, these people have guns. Like, all right, give me athletics. Oh, I'm so good at athletics, though. <laughs> That's an eighty. I do not make. Okay, what is your athletics? Yeah, sixty. I oh, yeah. All right. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, you're, you're pushing them pretty slowly. Um, you will have to do something to make up some time. You can, um, let's see, what can you do? Um, you can duck into a side room, just direct, you know, the easiest hiding Yeah, spot. the first okay. one we see, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is a, uh, yeah, another patient room. Um, uh, there, there are several, uh, patients here. Yeah. You are all, um, they, they look kind of scared and confused. Um, and yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so are I you going to keep, go through the room or are you going to barricade the door? Uh, I was just going to barricade the door. Okay. Like minimum, it's going to fuck up the door slightly for them mm -hmm. to get in. Um, okay. Um, so one of the patients gets up. It's like, Oh God, the shooter here. I'll help you. He limps over as an older man, but you know, uh, looks pretty rugged and he's he's helping you move shit over uh by the table or by the door um so uh yeah nygaard you're yeah you're in the room there's uh four patients uh in this room yeah. one is helping nicole he's Barricade. quietly watching these patients hmm? okay yeah you give me human check oh no <laughs> i make 54 under 71. I mean, none of them appear odd or anything like that. Uh, none of them act off. They look appropriately scared. Uh, for All right. this. Is yeah. there an exterior window we can ledge from in this room? Uh, no, this is an interior room. Okay. Uh, yeah. The, uh, yeah. So you give me a string times five or an athletics check there, Nicole. So wait, are we barricading ourselves in a dead end? No, there's a there's a door on the opposite end of the room. Okay. Uh, I make. Okay. Uh, yeah, you barricade the room. Um, at that point, you uh, hear a shotgun cocking uh, outside. Slugs go into, you know, the, the, it, it blasts the door and barricade, fortunately. The barricade holds for now. Um, but yeah. The, Time to go. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, okay. Yeah. Guys, anyone in this room that can leave should try to leave. Uh, I don't have time to save them. Yeah. I'll just let them Give me know. a sand check for helplessness. Yeah. yeah. We kind of doomed these people, didn't we? Uh, mm -hmm. I do make that, though. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so you make that sand check. Yeah. Give me, uh, yeah, athletics or strength times five. See how quickly you get out of them. 97. I'm. I'm just real bad at this. Yeah, like, uh, you do get out of the room. In my life, but the uh, um, the old guy is trying to be a hero. Uh, <laughs> he, he go die. He, he's trying to go down swinging. Um, and you can give me a sand check for helplessness again as you hear him die. Uh, oh, that's not fine. That is not okay. Yeah, uh, that is only two. Okay. But uh, you're in the hallway uh, outside this patient room. You're basically in the middle, near the middle of the second floor, as far as you can tell. There's just rooms and hallways all around you. This is a very large hospital. Um, so you can look around. There's signs leading to, you know, rooms for uh, various. There's a lab. There's an x-ray room. Um, the MRI room. Um, you know, other patient rooms. Uh, other stairwells. Um, it is a maze in here. And you are in the belly of it. Yeah. Um, they can't take guns into a room with a working MRI, can they? No, I guess they can't. Yeah. That that's probably the best place to hole up for a little bit, at least. Okay. Just um, yeah. Give me uh, string times five to 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 muscle. Um, uh, or athletics, whatever. No, higher. I do not make that. Okay. Um, yeah, you're just you're just slow. Uh, yeah. So, um, older you, bothering you, I guess. Yeah. 
Um, Nygaard, you can give me a Dex Times 5 check to, like, knock things as you pass them to... Sure, why not? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 66 under 80. Okay, yeah. You you uh, managed to get into the MRI room. Yeah, you re- of course, you'll, you'll have to leave the wheelchair if you turn on the MRI. Well, it, yeah. I don't know how strong the MRI uh, magnets work, like how what distance they they work. Um, yeah, uh, I imagine. I think in the observing room you can still have metal. It's just if you can yes. Imagine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, there is an MRI tech there, uh, cowering, hiding. Um, it's a, listen, you, you have to turn the MRI on. Like uh, the, the, there's people with the, the guns; they might be coming. It's like, that will make us safer, right? Right? Like you just talk. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, sure. I could, I could turn it on. Uh, yeah. And there's a door in the opposite end. So you could, uh, the, the MRI, you know, turns the machine on the MRI tech turns on. So if you go in there without any metal on any, any of you, uh, so you'd have to carry Nygaard. You, I'm sure any, we can find another uh, wheelchair mm-hmm. in a hospital. That's... You can then leave through the other exit of the room. Uh, so the, you, you would disarm the killer. The, the MRI as the MRI tech is, you know, um, Turning Listen, the machine I'm on. Yeah, gonna have to carry you for a bit. That's the, the, the but we'll stop them with the guns, I guess. Uh, the uh, the MRT is asking, but what's happening? What's going on? I, I, I the cops are shooting. I, I, I heard one came in here earlier and said the the killer won't die. Uh, I don't understand what what's happening. Not understanding is better. It's uh, code silver. Um, listen, after the MR is on, you should also you should follow like us. Just get to a different room. Uh, okay. I think they're coming through here. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, give me uh, this. Definitely strength times five. I mean, I can walk though. Right? <laughs> no, you can crawl. Um, oh, yeah, that's not good. Everything yeah. zero is 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 that a crit good or crit bad? That a uh, hundred is a crit <laughs> failure. I okay. believe. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. So, uh, hey, hey, Maddie, can you um, maybe can we pause the game so Maddie can go onto the the game shop and get some different dice? Is that all right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the, yeah. Your listeners home, Faye is listening in on this episode. Oh uh, god! With the, the, and it's like every one of my athletics and strength checks. That's it. It's just like yeah, your, your character is pretty like yeah, uh, just just not beefy enough. Uh, oh man! Yeah. Uh, so a hundred. Yeah, you, your legs just give out. You've just uh, you 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 come off a long shift. You're just you're just gassed. So the killer comes in. Uh, the room. Uh, cool. Dropping uh, Jürgen doesn't give more than a couple points of damage to him, does it? Uh, no, fine, does not, right? it does no oh damage. God. Actually, uh, Jürgen, give me a count times five check to see if you faint or not. 42 under 60. You do not faint, although it is incredibly painful. You do not take any damage. Um, but, uh, yeah. The... <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. I, I um... Just ain't your night. The killer comes into the room. Um, the MRI, the gas mask is pulled off his face. Um, and because there's metal on it, they are just incredibly. It's a it's a walking corpse. They, they uh, is incredibly disfigured, uh, should be dead. Their nose is missing. Eyes are a milky white, uh, heavily scarred. J- jaw has been broken and set multiple times. The teeth are mangled. Um, just this is a person who should be dead, let alone not moving around. And the shotgun fl- flies off as they try and they hold on to it for an impossible second uh, before the magnet of the MRI rips it from their hands and everything. Uh, uh, bullets start coming out of their body. Uh, knives, knives, knives uh, pull out of their body. Uh, an impossible amount of weapons and ammo are, are, is just being pulled out of this thing. Ugh. And it just looks at you uh, as it is being ripped apart from this. Uh, uh, and it looks at you to static protocol Delta. And it's just just ripped apart into nothing, into just a fine red mist. Yeah, that's a sand check for unnatural. Uh, the the tech just goes screaming. 
Uh, critical success. The, the, I, I've had worse in my day. At least we're not dead. I mm-hmm. rolled a three. Uh, yeah, that's just one for you then. Um, actually, no, that's a 1d3. That, that is pretty horrifying. Well, that's still one. Yeah. yeah, dead for now, but you managed to get out of the room. Um, and... Yeah, can Gun, we turn the, the MRI off and oh, take some is, of these weapons? Or I mean, the the the, gu- the, the shotgun shattered against the. Oh, MRI, never mind. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a very strong magnet, and also the tech is gone. You don't know yeah, how to if work. If it didn't, if it didn't, there's hit an this, emergency right, stop on the wall. There is absolutely a giant emergency stop. Yeah, give me uh, alertness check to find it. Yeah. Uh, eighty nine. No, I, I I I'm too busy to think of. You're gonna, are you going to look for it? Yeah, sure. Thirteen. Right. I got. Yeah, it. You, you see it. You point it out to Nicole, and uh, yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're gonna, you said, yeah, the, the shotgun would work. So yeah, it does actually. Yeah, and also to probably get myself a nice knife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a knife there too. Um, probably, probably about fifteen of them from what mm-hmm. it sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, now you're armed, um, and there's nothing between you and the uh, stairwell leading down. Uh, so, uh, as you, uh... I'm gonna, like, arm over the shoulder, just help Jürgen walk. It's slower, but it's something. It's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's let's look for, like, either a walker or a wheelchair somewhere. Uh, or... yeah, there is... There are both in the hallway. So, which one do you want? Uh, it's, it's easier to lunge into a desperate stab from a walker than a wheelchair. Okay, yeah. Uh, give me a strength times up. five to support yourself on a walker. 42 under 50. Okay. It hurts. Yep. Uh, yep. But it's just you, pain. Yeah. The two of you, the, the tech goes running in, in somewhere. Uh, go down the stairwell um, and uh, get down to the ground floor. And it is eerily quiet. It is as quiet as a tomb, one might say. PA system crackles on. The buffet uh, is now open. Nurses eat free today in appreciation for all their hard work. Please visit the morgue to attend the buffet. Thank you. (laughs) Oh, don't like that. Don't don't like that. So, yeah, uh, Deanna, where where do you want to meet them exactly? They're on their... their, uh, uh, And you can can describe uh, how you want to uh, approach them. Uh, I sort of, like, unpeel from the shadows around the door into the morgue uh, on, like, spindly legs and taut ribs that go too long and just sort of like a dog-like growl before the doors. Uh, And I say in Deanna's voice, um, I'd like to speak to you before you go further, Mr. Nygaard. Uh, yeah, both of you give me sand checks. Uh, 19. 87. Uh, that is four for uh, Nicole. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but like as I'm walking through the pillars of the hospital, I will just like turn from it back into Deanna. Then into one of her daughters, <clears throat> then into another one of her daughters, then back into the the beast uh, as I'm walking towards them. Yeah, oh. you with the king, in a way. And I've Mr. got nothing to fucking say to you, Mister Nygard. Why did you not want to be around Deanna Cobrini? She would have really cared for you and did have your best interests at heart. Why did you seek to protect her from yourself? Uh, how does Nicole look right now? Uh, scared, uh, but like <laughs> still intact. In uh, I've lost like eleven sand. <laughs> Nicole, a real you've got the gun. Use it. Yeah, it's shakily going to like aim. They look like a human. I don't like doing this, but I will try because this human was just a monster. Okay. Uh, do I even have fire? I have firearms at 20. God damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how I go. These dice uh, have been great so far. <laughs> let me just check my rules of engagement here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's nothing about Nicole. 
Yep, that's what I'm uh, looking at. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is a 72. <laughs> yeah, shotgun goes off. Uh, yep. Misses. Yeah. What are you going to do, Deanna? Uh, I will roll my attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, 21 out of 40. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Was that with the claws or the bite? Uh, bite. Okay. But I, I won't go all the way. I'll hold it on her neck. Okay. Oh, God, that's worse. <laughs> Uh yeah, you you roll well enough. Yeah, you get a uh you you inflict one damage, you, you draw blood. Nicole's neck is uh yeah, the 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 ghouls uh has Nicole in the neck uh holding, yeah. And I will keep uh Nicole between me and Nygard. And then say answer the question, Mr. Nygard. Why did you try and protect the nurse from yourself? It's the same courtesy I would extend to anybody that's why i'm asking you to stop your salvation is leaving your family and becoming part of mine but you are tainted mr nygaard irrevocably cannot drag you back to my nest no matter how much bigger the jaws of the speaker may be than his belly you may be a prize, but he is a fool to seek it. There is no amount of ripening you could do in the ground that would let me consume you. I merely seek to protect the ones I love. For your kind, for where you're going, you can look forward to disillusion, to becoming part of it. But for us... For what you seek to become, we are churned through its guts for eternity. Won't let that happen to my family. Do I get a sense at all of what these different uh, antecedents she's speaking of are? Like, is um, that just something I could do with yeah, natural no, you, or something? Um, you ju- yeah, you, you have enough natural, you just know. Um, there is a ghoul community. Um, and the one you call Gary is one of them, but not the only one. Yeah, good guy so Gary. There's, so there's yeah. a, so there's sort of a, <laughs> there's sort of a theological dispute about whether or not I can, uh, be a part of it or if I'll like be poisoned. Yeah. Basically. Yes. Yeah. You, uh, this ghoul clearly believes that you are tainted and will infect their other ghouls, the nest. Uh, with whatever you've brought here. You sacrificed of yourself to save your own kind, Mr. Nygaard. I merely ask that you do it before you become one of mine. I'm not looking for a home. You understand that? You are not being offered one, not by me. What he is offering me, I'm looking to take simply as a way to empower myself to hunt. As many of the yellow cord as I can before I'm gone. Fire with fire. I can let you leave here and you can have that ending for yourself. But the people with cancer in this building, when they filled their veins with radiation, it was not to power in a fight they would win. I am sorry to be the one to break the news to you, Mr. Nygaard. It all ends Case for everybody terminal. the same way anyway. It's about the time we have. And let me through. All right, I kill Maddie's character. <laughs> <laughs> just fuck. All right. Yeah, Nicole, you, you, uh, actually, you will get one last chance. Yeah, I, uh, I, could, I have to roll for it, but I, 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 do, uh, I do. It'll the be an opposed, it. uh, you're unarmed to get out of the jaws. Oh, yeah, before. sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll critically succeed this roll. I'm so good I at mean, that. Yeah, I don't even make no. Okay. Well, no, if, so I'm 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 gonna use the moment of her death to try to get past into the more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So Deanna, what'd you get on your roll? You'll have to make a. Oh, I got I got a I, I got a five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh. So that is uh. How many? Uh. 
Uh, five. That is nine damage. Uh, I have eight hit points. So uh... all right, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, Nygard, you can, yeah, you can throw yourself uh, and crawl uh, to the yep. door. Well, yeah. So give me a dex times five, uh, and you can get to the morgue door. Fifty-seven under eighty. Okay. Um, so you're making it to the door. So Deanna. Give me a dex time, uh, an athletics check. Okay, I'm pretty good at that. Mm -hmm. Uh, 68 out of 85. Yeah. So uh, Deanna impossibly leaps over to, uh, after killing Nicole, uh, leaps over to Jorgen uh, as he he opens the the door leading down into the basement. So the door's open, but um, you're stopped from getting further in. Uh, Killing her was neither persuasive nor endearing. Uh, all both of you can hear heavy footsteps coming down the hallway somewhere on the first floor, like from behind you. It's the same footsteps you've been hearing, the, the gas mask killer. It'll be worse for you and your family if they get me. You know what they're going to turn me into? Uh, I, I I grapple with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't want to let him pass. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, you, you can just grab him, uh, because if he fights back, he will pass out <laughs> or die. Um, cause yeah, and your strength is 24. So, uh, yeah, you, you pick him up. So what are you going to do, Deanna? One of the killers is nearby, but you can evade them. Um, you can try to evade them. Um, this is your last chance, Mr. Nygaard. I cannot violate the speaker's right of choosing you. But this thing can eat you before you get to him, or you can refuse it yourself. Those are your options. You decide before it opens the door. For clarity, is she telling me that I have some power to refuse or renounce the yellow sign? No, the the, the, the speakers. Uh, You can refuse to become a ghoul Mm -hmm. uh, on your own accord, um, or or, uh, you can be killed uh, but I can't kill you. Yeah. Uh, that is against my religion because you've been chosen. Uh, yeah, Gary has a social status in the ghoul community. Can right. Just... Well, I fucking hate the Yellow King, and I want the power. No, to she's do not. More she's her, yeah. So she's she's, she's like, I, I'm. I'm uh, not going to refuse the the gift. So that is that is Deanna's that is Deanna's thing. She's going to try and get you killed with static, or she's yeah. going to let you go. But yeah, she doesn't want you to have the option to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so if she's going to let me go. Yeah. But she's going to block the door to the morgue. So, um, yeah, you're, uh, uh, she doesn't uh, give a shit if you escape static or get out of the hospital. She just doesn't yeah. want you joining the club. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you're, well, you there are a... other, there are yeah. other manholes in this city. <laughs> yeah. You can try and crawl there before static finds you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. In that case, uh, give me another deck times five. Which of us? Uh, yeah, Jorgen. yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know what Jorgen's choice was. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna hold him for the guys to shoot him with a shotgun, or yeah. Okay, yeah. Are yeah. you are you being asked to be let go? Yeah, this this is my choice. If to you Jorgen. want me out of here, then get me out of here. You can feel secure in having done what was your opinion of what was right for your family. Uh, do I buy that? Uh, you would have, uh, Deanna, the nurse is human right now. Okay. You uh, just ate her brain. You still remember I how mean, that works. I mean, she like, has a human yeah, authority. So, so I'm not making any guarantees about what I do later, but, yeah. uh, but, but I will, I will relent on this specific yeah. roll. Uh, so yeah, you rolled your persuade Jorgen. Oh, okay. And All right. Then, uh, I, I failed it. So, okay. Um, I believe him. Oh, yeah. okay. Hey. I place him behind the door and wait for static to come through. Uh, well, you can just let him out of the hospital. You could like take him out of the lobby. Uh, oh, I didn't know we had a way out away from them. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're on the first floor. There's a lot of. Yeah, I, I take him. I take him up to the first floor and I let him leave the hospital. Yeah. yeah. All right. So basically, you're, what this is going to come down to is you need to uh, make. Basically, there's going to be an opposed check between you and the static agent. Your infiltrate check versus their detection uh so is that a see. stealth or what yeah stealth yeah sorry wait can i help um well i did you... yeah yeah like you you according to my rules of like i've seen carcosa shit 
It's over. Yeah. I can't go back. Yeah. So he he said out to his rear. I can get static us back. Like I I bet they haven't dealt with me before. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, you. Well, he. So what you don't real? Yeah. What Deanna doesn't realize is that Jorgen is going to try and go in the sewers and get back in. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so uh, Jorgen's trying to get to a sewer so he can call Gary uh, before he dies. Yeah, well, I don't know that. I, yeah. I'm still trying to help him escape. Okay, uh, yeah. Because all, right. all right, in that case, you can you can fight the static agent. Well, and, I'll, and yeah. I'll say, you're not going home, are you? Nothing that touches you should. I did the girl a favor. You may have. Take as many as you can. All right. And I'll um, remember you. Okay. In that case, um, you, uh, so yeah, you just need to make uh, three, let's see, first make a dex check. Dex times five. Okay. With ghoul No, 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 uh, with uh, Jorgen. This is Jorgen. Oh, okay. Uh, will, does he get to the sewer before he passes So out? it's, it's yeah, dex, yeah. it's stealth, yeah. and what else? Uh, strength. Okay. Well, he shouldn't need stealth. I'm helping him with the stealth part. Well, he also wants to avoid cops and other people outside. Yeah, that's, like, fair. that's yeah. fair. Okay, stealth is 87 under 90. Okay. Dex is 45 under 80. And strength is 35 under 50. 35 yeah. under 50? Okay. He, he wants it. He wants the meat. He wants the meat. And uh, so here's what happens. Uh, Deanna, you can, you can narrate just the, the montage of you going against an endless number of uh killers and gas masks and shotguns yeah i uh, imagine they just start popping out of the walls like a benny goodman's fucking sketch just mm-hmm. bleeding out of every window like impossibly until i've just turned into gibbets yeah, yeah you're, <laughs> you 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 stand on a mountain of corpses before mm-hmm. you're got to gone like of impossibly disfigured dead men um there it is uh it seems like hours uh, but even you, even with your inhuman endurance, eventually and, and resilience, it has limits and they just keep coming. And um, but uh, and Jurgen, um, the, the police are swarming in the static, the shotgun blasts. You stop hearing them. Um, no one notices the patient crawling on the on their belly, on his belly, going under cars, uh, bleeding slightly, seeing a uh, uh, impossibly. Uh, well, there is a manhole entrance open, uh, ajar, uh, and you fall into it. Uh, you try and grab on, but the last thing you see is a figure looming over you, and you feel the taste of meat. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll find out what happens. Uh, Jurgen this... takes his yeah. communion. Hmm. Uh. So. Yeah, that was the uh, hospital. Uh, a, this is not in the published campaign. Uh, this it purely happened because of uh, my own addition to the campaign and the circumstances of what happened. So we find out that, you know, Jürgen is uh, still going to be kicking around. So uh, Jürgen's very bad day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jürgen's very bad day. Um, so, yeah. Uh, special thanks to Caleb so much hey. thank you. for playing the guest character. Uh, thank you so much, Caleb. That was a that was fucking fun. great. And yeah. let's just pour one out for Nicole. The world lost a top of the, a top of the line thirst trap poster. Yeah. We will never recover. Yeah. Well, a very clumsy thirst poster, Boy. apparently. God yeah. damn. Yeah. Just- a lot of those skills in the 60s and high, yeah, 50s. It's like, nope, nope, nope. All right. Um, yeah, so I uh, gave Caleb a secret background sheet that explained his dilemma as a ghoul. That the ghouls are scared of Carcosa and uh, do not want it spreading their communion. And they tried to stop you, but... Yep. Uh, yeah, the implications uh, of that is pretty fucking tight, and uh, Caleb played it off really fucking good. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I nailed that. my Gary's, 99 uh, theses to the tomb door. Yeah. <laughs> Gary is kind of a maverick, apparently. Like, I don't yeah. know. He was just the one I knew, but apparently, yeah, exactly. he's, apparently he's like the sort of the revolutionary among them. That's well, good he, guy Gary. Yeah, good guy Gary. Yeah, the other girls. Maybe. Are- Maybe yeah. you're like the Gary who doomed our civilization. We'll yeah, find maybe, out. Maybe, yeah, maybe, you know. a little bit. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we'll see. The, we'll see. Uh, the uh, yeah, the, the the way I see it is Carcosa is a thing that just destroys everything it touches, even other mythos things. 
So poor old ghouls just worshiping their charnel god Mordigian. They they haven't got a chance against Carcosa. So uh, so did we just did we just create like <laughs> the worst horrible hybrid sub faction basically? We'll I think you out. introduced fucking hell is what you did. Uh, you introduced hell to these people that were not in need of suffering more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, they did kill an innocent nurse and her teenage daughters uh, to get to uh, you. So, what? Yeah. I mean, it was... <laughs> I had to get in. They wouldn't let me in like in my normal clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and you gotta eat someone fresh to know how the hospital works. You have yeah, a, that's true. You've absorbed but, uh, so many memories over the years, it's hard for you to keep track. Yeah. I didn't yeah, the, mean, the I insurance didn't, billing system alone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to have my character be John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the fact that he's just like, no, I refuse to die because I have to kill more. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, it, it's very good. It's very appropriate for your character. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, this turn of events makes me very excited for what I'm planning. Uh, yeah. I think it's going to be very compelling and actually end up working together really well. Yeah, and it's a great way to introduce my the, the static killers, the static agents. Those guys are fun. And, no, they're uh, fun. Everything's yeah. fun. Just yeah, be yeah. next yeah, to I'm... my machine at all times. Wow, I'm so glad yes. that you're going to shook them off and they're not going to be a problem anymore. That's so mm-hmm. relief. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, what's this ability called infinite here? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, don't worry about it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, Caleb, uh, anything you want to plug before we go? Uh, no, thanks for having me on. All right, uh, thank I'm you. I'm glad I could rejoin Impossible Landscapes again. Yeah. yeah, in a way that you won't, couldn't be spoiled for you since you, you know, it's yeah, not just now part of Impossible Landscapes. <laughs> the OGs back together from the fucking uh, yeah. the, oh, the pre-alpha days. Oh my god, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, we all were. Yeah, uh, yeah. If only Thad could have been here, but uh, mm-hmm. yep. Uh, cool. Well, we'll talk to you all uh, later and see what happens in episode ten. Is after. To- Figure that out. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.